In this experiment, we're investigating the water content of our three soil samples. So in task three, we're going to measure out our soil samples and we're going to pop them overnight in an oven to heat up and then we're going to find out the water content of the soil. So first of all, we need to find the mass of our containers. So this one is two grams, so we're going to take a note of the mass of each pot. And then I'm going to measure out exactly 10 grams of our first soil sample, so soil sample A. So this one has 10. exactly 10 grams of soil and then our pot is 2 grams. And then soil sample B. So again our pot is 2 grams. And then I'm going to measure our soil. So we've got exactly 12 grams of soil again. And then for C. So our three soil samples are going to go into the oven overnight at 60 degrees, which will dry out any water in the sample. And I'm then going to re-measure them. To find the water content. So these samples have been overnight in the oven at 60 degrees and we're going to re-measure. So for soil A, our mass after heating is 11.5. So the mass of the water here is 0 0.5. And then the mass of the soil And then for soil B, we've got 9.5 after heating. So the mass of the water is 2.5. And then 7.5 will be soil. And for C, So 
we've lost 2.1 of water. And 7.9 will be soil. We can also work out the percentage of water. If we take the mass of the water, divide it by the mass of the soil at the start, and then multiply it by 100, we can get the percentage. So our first one has 5% water. And the next one is 25% water. And soil C is 21% water.